Hello! I'm really close to the camera because I'm never close to the camera. Okay, go back up. Um, today I'm doing another review in the same day um, for a comparison of Makeup Forever High Death, um, high death Powder. It's like the mineral veil of Bare Minerals. And so we have Bare Minerals right here. And then this is $15 from Sephora. It looks like this. Hold on. Right there. And um, it's a micro, micro finish powder. And my problem was is I've been using Bare Minerals forever. And I absolutely love it. I have no complaints. I don't break out from it. As you can see, I do not have any, 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 any pimples. Um, so... My only problem is I get really oily throughout the day. I'll start out good and everything. Um, it's not a moisturizer I'm using or anything. I just get really oily. It's in my, um, my genetics. My mom gets really oily and she's like, well, I won't tell her age. She probably won't like that, but she's older and um, she has no wrinkles at all. Not lying, I swear. And all she, she doesn't even use face wash or any products or anything. Um, so... Hopefully I get the same skin, but, so I get really oily during the day, and it just looks awful during, like, the end of school, so I was using the Bare Minerals, it's just the mineral veil, it's not like the new hydrating one or anything, and it wasn't even working for me, it set my makeup really nicely, and, um, uh, it didn't, like, look drying or anything, but it just, it wasn't doing anything for me. Um, and I, I just continued to get shine, so I went into Sephora, and I was like, what can I get? And she, this girl was like, you have to try makeup forever. So she actually put it on my face before I bought it, and I was like, wow, that's great. Um, it doesn't look cakey. Um, one thing I have to warn you about is that you could overuse it because, um, mine's pretty messy, but when you open it up, you should have hardly anything in the cap, she said, because before I was like, oh, I was using a ton of my brush, um, and she was like, you hardly need any for the whole entire face, and it lasts long, it covers up pores, um, it doesn't look cakey, um, and it keep it honest to God keeps my shine away all day, and I'm so pumped about that. Um, I have bare, um, bare essentials, bare minerals, whatever you want to call it, I have the br all the brushes, but... Um, for an all over for this, I prefer to use like CVS powder brush. This is like awesome. It's maybe like seven dollars. So good. Um, it's like by Essence of Beauty. You can't really see that. It's too bright. Um, but it's really good. Um, so after I use my brushes for so long, I use for a brush cleaner. You just spray it on, and wipe it on, towel dries in like two minutes. It's actually awesome. It's like $8, $6 maybe for the tiny one you don't use a lot, so it saves a lot of money. Um, I actually went to Sally Beauty and tried a cheaper brush cleaner, and I actually found that my brushes dried faster and nicer and cleaner um, with the Sephora. It's just Sephora Professional Brush Cleaner. That's it. <laughs> I suck at getting these things in the camera. Um, so I would definitely suggest trying this out. This is awesome. If you don't get oily through the day, then you definitely can definitely stick with the Bare Essentials Mineral Veil. It's awesome. It sets your makeup really nicely. Um, but if you're looking for like the most amazing product, this is well worth the money. I would go with the travel size. This is called the travel size. Uh, I didn't want to pay $30 for the big one because it's like my first time using it. Um, but this is awesome. Totally recommend it to anybody. Um, it's supposed to work on any skin color, um, no matter how fair skinned or dark skinned you are. Um, and I just found that with as with any powder, make sure you moisturize. You know, after the shower, after you wash your face, you always want to do that because you will look a little bit dry. Um, and that's about it. And I hope you buy it. All right. Thanks for watching.